Warrior Game presents The War on Terror An Infinity Battle Report On the JC side there's uh, Anoya Roy Ayojimbo both coming with Crazy Koalas and a full fire team of Kisotsus On the Aleph side there's Scylla with her bots there's Alke with three Thorika Ties and two Myrmidons <laughs> with our player JS Tari, so we'll be playing uh, JSA, Eugene's JSA. So what's your master plan for this uh, upcoming mission? I want him to see shadows where there are no shadows. So I'm pretending that uh, I'm fielding a bunch of uh, infiltrators, not on the table, when in fact all my uh, points have been spent on that one Oyoroy, uh, Oyoroy tag. Uh, so hopefully he questions all his moves and thinks that I have an Oniwaban or a Ninja deployed somewhere. And um, I, I intend to take second turn so that by the last turn I'll just eject out of my Oyoroy and score 8 points when I enter the, that elevator there. Right, so classic JS Tires mind games. <laughs> but are you concerned at all with uh, the ODD that Aleph usually brings to the table? I, to me, ODD is ODD. Um, I, I didn't want to field any multispectral visor uh, units just to counter that. I think by sheer weight of fire and superior range, I'll be able to deal with that because I, I, I see that he's fielding a lot of short-range submachine guns. AP, fine, but um, I have HMGs. And I have uh, a perimeter of um, crazy koalas to protect my, my core units. Knowing how Joskar plays, is there anything that actually concerns you with the usual, usual loadouts? He's never beaten me in any game, so <laughs> in any minis game, so that doesn't concern me. But I do feel like this might be the day that he beats me, so, and I'm fine with that. Um, I think Steel Phalanx have a difficulty fielding effective small point teams, and uh, at 150 points, I might have a slight advantage over them. Best of luck to you, Jay. Thank you, thank you. We are now here with Jox, and he's going to play against Jay here in this special Infinity scenario. Uh, Jox will be playing a left, and we'd like to know what his thoughts are on this game. All right, so um, I'm, I'm playing a left, uh, the Steel Phalanx in particular. Um, it's a very interesting scenario, and uh, uh, I think I have the right tools to uh, get the victory today. Well, that sounds good. But what are your concerns with his tactics of using uh, thermoptic camo? Well, uh, I have enough template weapons to, to deal with them should they appear. Uh, what really, my, my main concern right now is, is that big Oyoroy that Jay is packing. Uh, I've had experience dealing with it before and it was not uh, a successful uh, fight. So, um, this time I'm going to try something new. And would you reveal to us what this new thing would be? Well, this time around, uh, I have a few armor-piercing weapons. Uh, as compared to last time where I was shooting it with, with, um, with Spitfires and rocket launchers, uh, I am going to try to come in with a burning shotgun. Which is pretty dangerous because it, it excels in close combat as well. Uh, but hopefully my, my Myrmidons can uh, take care of business. Uh, based uh, on your knowledge of the scenario, what would be your game plan? How do you approach in achieving uh, those points? So um, I am going to be securing the safe house initially with, uh, with Scylla. And then uh, she's going to sync with the... Uh, with uh, the civilian. with the civilian, uh, and then the plan is to have her cyber mask and uh, stall until near the end of the game, rush to the elevator. I'm hoping that Jay will open the elevator doors actually. So if he doesn't, then we might both lose. Uh, but I don't think Jay is the kind of guy who's willing to lose. So I'm betting on that. Okay, so well, we will see what happens, and I hope you have a good game. Thank you, thank you. The HVT is deployed in the secure room. 
Sila and the cowardly Myrmidons position near the HVT while Alke and her squad guard the center of the table. Cowards. The JSA, on the other hand, take the left side of the table with the Oyer guarding the flank. So in typical Joskar fashion, he chooses sneaky tactics over engaging the proud JSA on the first turn. He sneaks his Silla squad along with the Deva bots closer to the room of that high value target. He tries to sink on the first order, but the noob he is, he blocks his own line of sight uh, to the Deva bot. And uh, based on John's John Terror's rule, he can't G-Sync if he doesn't have line of sight. So he spends another order just to peek through that door along with moving the Deva bots into that secure room. Silla then uh, successfully rolls willpower, taking control of that high value target. She activates her cyber mask, successfully rolling a 12 on her willpower roll. Myrmidon moves to the right side building and hides in that building. Silla and her squad again move forward, but now the Oyeroy draws a line, line of sight through that door and shoots one of the Deva bots, effectively destroying him with an ARO HMG shot. Yujimbo starts the JSA turn by popping smoke, using his impetuous move, attempts to dodge long range submachine gun spitfire shots, and of course fails having done nothing for the JSA army. Oyeroy with the Crazy Koalas move forward, draws line of sight to that cowardly Myrmidon, shoots it with HMGs, and of course, destroys that model. Another order spent on the Oyeroy, he draws line of sight to the last Devabot, fires his HMG, the Devabot gets destroyed. He moves closer to the primary objective, that elevator in the middle of the board, with the uh, crazy koalas in tow. Okay. Oyoroi again traces line of sight, now towards that impersonated stupid Scylla. Tries to discover but fails, can't discover again. The Oyoroi repositions closer to the central elevator, draws line of sight to a hiding Alke. Alke, of course, fires back, but predictably dies to HMG fire, with Aleph suffering loss of lieutenant on the first turn. The Oyoroi repositions to draw a bead on that last remaining Myrmidon. The Myrmidon coward pops smoke and successfully dodges that Oyoroi fire. Oyoroi again repositions, spending all the orders that he can. Draws line of sight to one of the Thuriketai. The Thuriketai fires back, but just gets destroyed by HMG fire. The Oyoroi repositions yet again, fires at a hiding Thuriketai. Thuriketai fires back and inflicts one crit on that Oyoroi. Oyoroi runs away, closer to that button room. Fires yet again at that same lucky bastard Thuriketai, this time felling him with HMG fire. Jay's a turn ends. Right, so Jay, it was quite a dominating turn for you with the Oyoroi actually managing not only to kill the lieutenant, which was Nese Alke, but also destroy most of Joskar's uh, limited forces. What do you think was, uh, aside from the Oyoroi, what was the highlight of the, ma of the round for you? Yeah, I, I lost the... Yujimbo, I was counting on him crossing the board um, on the first turn, but even with just his um, first impetuous move, I, I lost him against submachine guns at that. So, well, it happens. I have now two useless um, koalas right, sitting right there. Uh, but the Oyeroi, it went according to plan. I fed him uh, as, ma as many orders as I wanted uh, and took out more than half of Joskar's army. Of course, I anticipated he would steal that HVT on the first turn, and he did that. My plan right now is just to wait it out. Uh, I, I get the final move, 
because I opted to go second or Joscar chose to go first. Uh, so my next turn will be moving my uh, fire team across the board and activating the doors for the elevator just to prepare for my third. Hopefully I'm able to cross without getting too many casualties. Okay. And what do you think Joscar will do with his uh, remaining forces to adjust for the Oyeroy and the impending approach of the, of the link team? I think he's going for a draw uh, at this point, <laughs> sad to say, because he has uh, very few units left. One, one of them will count, it has a Spitfire, but in order for him to shoot at me, I'm actually tempting him by putting my Oyre out in the open. I get to shoot at it with a, with a heavy machine gun, even with one shot uh, against its Spitfire. So hopefully that's enough. I, I survived the barrage of Spitfire shots. He reveals himself and... Uh, with just three orders left, uh, I, I hope I can take the, the next round. All right. With the scenario being uh, a curious one of that, that there has to be models inside the elevator scenery feature or else <laughs> players will lose because no one has managed to evacuate their, uh, their specialist troops. Uh, Jay, do you think that's going to be a problem for you, getting, your, uh, getting a, a scoring unit inside the elevator? Uh, the game plan from the start really was to take the second turn and eject out of the Oyeroy at the last minute to, to put 83 points, pretty much eight points, uh, 83 points of units, it's just eight points into that elevator at the last moment. So I'm sticking to that plan. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right. So that's we have uh, Jay's domini uh, Jay Astaris's point of view of his dominating turn of this grueling match with Joscar. Okay, Jocks, you got initiative. You were given initiative. Did you want to take the initiative yeah, for this game? I, I actually did want to take the initiative for the first round, uh, particularly because I wanted to get the, uh, the civilian first. Uh, I knew that uh, if I got the civilian, he would have to kill Scylla, and that means he would have to waste orders discovering her. Um, uh, unfortunately, when he when it come it, when it came to his turn, uh, the Oyeroy wreaked havoc as as uh, as I expected. But um, I I was banking on the f I was banking on the range bands to at least help me mitigate uh, shots against um, the uh, uh, Alkes link team. Uh, that didn't work out. Uh, as, as planned uh, but I think I can still salvage points this game particularly because that Oyeroy will not fit in the bunker okay the elevator the, I mean your HMGs were, were working for you uh, so now it seems like uh, tables have turned that Oyeroy has uh, indeed uh, caused casualties yeah. so you're now ha you now have reduced order so what will be your game plan for the second turn uh, for the second turn, I am suffering loss of lieutenant, uh, and so um, it's really about repositioning, uh, repositioning for the third and final turn. I, I expect him to open the door this turn. Uh, if he doesn't, then I would do my best to prevent him from opening the door, and just and work for the draw. Yeah, work for the and draw. Work for the draw. Yeah. If, if you can't live, no, no one lives. No one lives. Everybody dies. Yes. Okay, sounds like uh, a good yeah. AI tactic. Yeah, I, I will be hiding behind the civilian the entire time. So, you know, he, he risks losing the game. Because if he accidentally shoots the civilian, that's game. Yes, that is, yeah. it is indeed the game. So, uh, we will see how it happens. Loss of lieutenant, that's a bad thing. Bad thing. But let's see if he can turn it around. Is a legend living my life like the fable to murder in the game cause I came and I'm able to like Jesus before when he work on my palms this man is alive and he drops some bombs I go at it we'll like a hair hound tiny on the mic get a pretty much hair bound six people virtual right here in the sixth circle heretics and murders was it a day two and a mortal just another limit that I'm bound to break you just another body that I'm bound to stay all the motherfucking pickers want a piece of the cake I'm sophisticated to throw signs of hate you got gospel unchain my brain I'll be the king and a drop at a diamond a drop at a diamond I'm making a mind pennies for thoughts and I'm bringing a change your chapter was done and I'm fucking the